everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you guys what we plan to read aloud this year for our homeschool 2019-2020 school year. So these are the books I'm gonna read aloud to my kids, we're gonna read them together. Um, some of them will have planned activities and worksheets and things like that to go with them. So pretty much our language arts, but some won't, some we're just gonna read for fun. And this is by no means, um, the complete list because I always leave room for inspiration like if we go to the library and we see a book that we all want to read together or I see one I want to read aloud to the kids uh, bookstore buys and then of course um, I didn't include all the picture books because most of those will be using from the library any sort of picture book supplements and things like that but these are our novel read alouds except for the first one that I'm going to show you and that is El Defo by C.C. Bell because this one is, oh it's a bookmark, this one is a graphic novel and so this one is kind of like a read alongside. Uh, I've already read it and I loved it by the way. Um, I didn't expect to because it is, I think it's a middle grade novel, uh, but I did go ahead and read it before my kids read it. Um, so that I would know everything that went on in it and that I would be well versed in what activities and things that we're going to be doing from this book. So I've already read it and I highly recommend it. Love it. And my kids are working it on it right now because this is just not, this is not the kind of format that one can read aloud. I cannot. I would not have the patience for this. Um, so this is just a read alongside book. So that's the first one that we're doing this year. Uh, let's see. The next one is Old Yeller by Fred Gibson because all children need a little bit of trauma in their life. Uh, this is one of my favorite books of all time alongside Where the Red Fern Grows. I really hope my cat doesn't knock into my tripod. Go. Okay. Um, this is one of my favorite books of all time. It's a classic uh, Newbery Honor Award winner and I just, I love it so much and it's one that isn't going with any particular curricul curriculum or book list. Uh, it's one I chose for us to read aloud and we're already working on it. And the kids already love it. I love this book so much. And I, I've been waiting to share some of my classic favorites with them. And now that they're getting older, um, I finally feel like I can do that and they'll, they'll enjoy them. The next one is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson brunette or maybe a little princess. I haven't decided yet which one we're going to read. I think maybe The Secret Garden but I'm leaving it open to whatever I kind of feel like reading. Um, but this is this book as you can tell has three titles in one book. This isn't how big um, any one of the stories are but we're gonna be reading this this year. And then the next one is The Mighty Miss Malone by Christopher Paul Curtis. And then Crenshaw by Katherine Applegate. And then the next one doesn't have a cover. Uh, I bought it used for very cheap, and that means it didn't come with a cover. Uh, it's Mandy by, it says Edwards, but oh, Julie Edwards, the actress, Julie Edwards. And this was a nice little surprise. Um, this is like a little handwritten note from 1990. Oh, oh no, no, no. The first one is from 1978 how old this book is. I just, I love that. I love when I find used books with little handwritten notes in them, even though they do make me a little sad that the original owners got rid of a book that someone lovingly gave them. Anyways, the next one we're going to be reading is Ronia, the Robber's Daughter by Astrid Lindgren. And I'm not even sure what this one's about. So, uh, I'll look into it later, but, um, I don't know. I'm kind of curious about that one. And let's see, the next one is The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Juster. And this one is a book I remember either reading or getting read to in elementary school when I was around my daughter's ages. Um, and I don't remember anything about it. I just remember that I loved it and I enjoyed it so much. But I don't remember anything about it, which is so strange. I just had to have the feeling that I know that I really liked it. Um, so that one's going to be exciting for me to revisit and hopefully my kids like it as well. The next one is The One and Only Ivan by Katherine Applegate. So another Katherine Applegate book. The other one was Crenshaw. 
The next book is My Side of the Mountain by Jean Craighead George, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about this one as well. Um, another Newbery Honor book. Pretty excited about this one as well because I do enjoy some Jean Craighead George. So I think, I don't know if I've ever actually read this book. So this is one I haven't picked up. So it's going to be exciting for me too as well to read this new, or new to me, Jean Craighead George. I've never read before because I really, really enjoyed Julie of the Wolves. Um, I think there's two books. It's kind of like a little duo. I can't think of the word right now. But I read those when I was younger. Love them. So that one will be fun. And then the next one is A Midsummer's Night Dream. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Obviously by William Shakespeare, but this is retold by Bruce Col Colville. And this would count probably as a picture book, but we're going to be doing things with this. And this is going to be the first, excuse me, Shakespeare book that my kids have ever been introduced to. Um, and I'm excited to read it as well because the only Shakespeare that I ever read um, and did things with um, and, and plays and things like that uh, that I participated in drama. But I did all that in high school. So it will be interesting to me to read this version of it with elementary age kids. Now the last book, uh, we actually already read it. We just finished it a couple months ago. And as you can tell, this is like um, really old, my really old copy of Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. And I just want to include this because I did count it as part of our school year. I think we started it back in July and we just wrapped it up a couple weeks ago. As you can tell, they're like there's this whole inscription on the front um, for me from, it was, this book was a gift from one of my mom's friends um, a long time ago and she gifted this to me and wrote a really nice note in it um, about how much she loved it and to call her and let her know how much I love the book. So this has so many warm memories wrapped up in it. But I, I want to include this because we did read it and I also want to highly recommend it. If you haven't read Green Gables yourself, um, and Green Gables yourself, I highly recommend you do that. And then I highly rec recommend that you read it with your kids. Um, my kids loved it. Um, the language is so beautiful and I just, I love that book so much. So I had to include it. But those are all the read aloud books that we're going to be completing this year. Um, if I haven't said so already in previous videos, my kids are 10 and 8, so roughly 5th grade, 3rd grade age range. And I think all these books are going to be more than appropriate and they're more than ready for. Um, so feel free, obviously, to take any ideas from this book list. Let me know what you guys are reading and what um, ages. And share with me any classic favorites that you can't wait to share with your kids one day. Maybe they're not ready now or maybe they're coming up on ready and you're going to include them. Even though they aren't part of a curriculum, but you're just so excited to share them. I would be really curious to know what your classic childhood favorites were. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all again really soon.